it's just the beginning of the depression and things were getting tough and dad and some friends uh, came to Montana uh, the bishop worked of uh, the church, LDS church at Vaughan was uh, worked for the Northern Pacific Railway which went to uh, through the area in Montana that we lived at, and he would uh, talk, told Dad about the country, and actually Dad came up and looked at it and found a piece of land. And so when I was 10 years old, we had a brand new, spanking new, Monglay Ford, and uh, eight kids by that time, and we headed for Montana. In 1910? No. no, no, 1910 Model A, sorry. Yeah, uh, in 1931, 1931. Came to Montana and arrived right around April 1st. I think it could be April 1st. It's not clear in my mind. But uh, uh, this, the baby was, Duane was two, uh, week, two months old. And uh, in that brand new Model A, we had eight kids. <laughs> Do you know how, how he got the money to buy that Model A? Well, see, uh, they had been, right then is when the Severe Valley Bank closed, right about that time, and uh, he just, I mean, I'm almost certain he paid cash for it. But uh, at the same time, and I've never known the financial dealings of it, because we had 40 acres just south of Delta. And uh, it was good farmland, but it wasn't enough. But by that time, the folks had uh, eight children. And I say Duane was two months old when we headed for Montana. And uh, I remember that Dad's sisters were so sad, and they came to tell us goodbye as we left the place, and they brought a laundry bag about, you know, about a yard long and how they are full of things, gifts for us, which Dad just took and passed it on. The spare tire was on the back of the car, <laughs> and he just tied it on that, and then we took off for Montana. We got the Model A, and my brother Garth sat in one corner in the back and held Lynn, uh, my... Uh, he was born, I can't, he was born into the year uh, Lindbergh flew the ocean. So I think it was about 28 he held, he was two right. at the time. And I held Joyce, who was, uh, no, Lynn was four and Joyce was two when we came to Montana. And Duane was uh, two months old. Hmm. And all of Betty and Bryce and Kent rolled around between us and on the floor and everything <laughs> and uh, I can't believe and I've checked with my siblings and to them that was just a fun trip and how in the world my folks kept everything so, so light-hearted so it was enjoyable for we kids. It took us uh, three, it's either three days and four nights or four nights and three days to come we stayed the first night at Aunt Dill's place in, in Salt Lake City. She had a beautiful, they were quite well to do. I never knew what it amounted to, but her husband was a Jew, and we always thought that's why they were rich. <laughs> <laughs> and who was she? How was she related? Well, she was Grandma's sister. We Your called her Aunt sister. Deal. And at the time, it's the only time that I remember seeing Louisa Jane Taylor. And that's. Uh, uh, it was Dad's grandmother, and she lived with Aunt Deal, and she just seemed very ancient. She came out of it. We went upstairs in that beautiful mansion that we stayed in overnight and part of the next day, and and she, uh, she Louisa Jane came out of the bedroom. She had a cane, and was leaned over, leaned over to her, from her waist, and I was always quite. I never saw her again only time I ever saw her, but I was kind of scared of her because I'd never seen anybody <laughs> lean, leaning over like that. And she was uh, minus some teeth. <laughs> That's 
up all the same, doesn't it? 